Friday to you. Welcome to the broadcast. Well, we are talking Valentine's Day today. Of course, the holiday comes up tomorrow. Did you know it's an $18.8 .8 billion holiday? Sure. And I think holiday. more people buy gifts for their pets than they do for their lovers. Mm -hmm. True. My, really? My pets, heard aren't, that. my pets aren't getting anything. Oh, my Lulu is totally is. getting something. Lulu will get a special uh, dinner tomorrow. What? Yeah. Mm. She deserves it. She loves me harder than anyone and else in this world. Unconditionally. Yeah. Aww. That's why she pees and poops on your bed. <laughs> she only pees and poops on my bed when she's mad at me. And okay. I can relate. I can relate. <laughs> you pee. Do you pee and poop on her bed? Is that what you're saying? No, you but I mad? pee you on my ex-boyfriend's bed. Uh, no, uh, baby, uh, shush, shush. <laughs> watching. <laughs> <Shh>. <laughs> I have a feeling her mom knows all about it. Um, you know, there is one woman who's getting a very happy Valentine's Day present, and we're just going to call her Mama Bear because that's how everybody knows her now from the internet. <laughs> this is a Dallas woman who uh, was in, involved in that high-speed chase when, when the guy rammed her minivan. She got out of the car and really beat him to the ground. Well, now Southwest Kia in Mesquite is giving her a new car. And Big Al so, Mac from uh, good for Kiss her. helped out with that. So good for them. Yeah. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. I love the name Mama Bear. Wouldn't you love that title? Mm -hmm. I've heard it before, like, all the time. It's right. not a new thing, but finally someone's giving her the prop well, she deserves. Like she, somebody's love getting it. the title. Right. We call yeah. that the Mama Bear Instinct, but now that I is her new it. title. She is Mama Bear, and I love it. So happy Valentine's yeah, Day to you because awesome. you deserve it. You deserve that car. Um, so, okay, mm -hmm. a few more interesting things about Valentine's Day. There was a survey done. They say that men are five times more likely to buy flowers while women are two times more likely to make their gift <laughs> to make their gift because it's from the heart you're a grown Ain't ass woman I mean, nobody needs to make their gift when you are a grown woman i don't know what i would be sitting there making <laughs> ryan the like, last I don't know. time that but i had a boyfriend for valentine's yeah. day i made him like a big portrait of our dogs <laughs> It was beautiful. It still hung in his new wife in his house. So he loved it. What did you make? A portrait of our dog. No, well, but you painted you. it. Like yeah. You, yeah, okay, well, oh. you're an artist, so you can <laughs> do that. I'm talking about, like, Are you paper mache <laughs> a, a collage together? I don't know. That's what that sounded like. Did you get a paint by numbers kit? <laughs> Here are what, uh, what women, that is so funny. all you ladies, this is what you plan to give your significant other for Valentine's Day. 28% will just do a greeting card. Yeah. 26% uh, will go out to dinner. Yeah. 16% of you will do chocolate or candy. Yeah. 13% uh, a night out. Um, a night out? You uh -huh. mean the opposite of a night in? <laughs> yes. This is hilarious. Oh, do we want to talk me. about that? <laughs> listen, listen, guys, if you're watching, there are expectations that are placed on this holiday. Sorry, that's just the way it is. So if you are dating someone, especially if you are newly dating, then you need to court <laughs> that person and you need to really make an effort to do something special and out of the ordinary. And you can't make the effort two days before. You really need to put some thought into it and make the effort ahead of time. Like so maybe like I three weeks all the bases ago here? when like you asked yes. to have the Valentine's date, maybe that's when you should have done the reservations. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so just, just word up to everyone who's watching. Just um, a hypothetical scenario for your Friday morning. Okay, well, here, on the flip side, here's Good what... Good morning, Dallas. Here is what... <laughs> bah humbug on Valentine's. Good morning, Man. Dallas, Fort Worth. How often do we try to slip these private messages into our conversations you know, and hope for someone's watching? Here's what's come of it. We don't slip them in anymore. We just say it. <laughs> uh, men plan to go out to dinner. 26% of you will take your SIG out to dinner. Um, greeting cards, 25%. Percent flowers, twenty-one percent. Um, chocolates or candy, twenty percent. That's so predictable. It's all so predictable. But I like the predictability of it. I know that we get to go out and have a nice night tomorrow night. It's just sort of like a reason to remember why we love each other. It's not like we're doing anything different, but I think it is kind of special. I. How do you all feel about um, cards and letters and things like that? I like. I them. really. I love a good love letter. I do too. Oh. That was my cue. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. I was just Set sitting here. Spike, Amy. I was Set just spike. Spike. So I was like just sitting here daydreaming about flowers and such. Anywho. Okay, so here's what I heard on the radio yesterday. And I had to download the article because I thought it was fantastic. The most romantic letter ever written in history, according to a survey taken in Britain, mm -hmm. uh, is by Johnny Cash to his lovely, lovely bride, June. And here's how it goes. Shall I read it? Yes, please. Happy birthday, princess. It was birthday. 
not Valentine's. We get old and we get used to each other. We think alike and we read each other's minds. We know what each other wants without asking. Sometimes we irritate each other a little bit. <laughs> Maybe sometimes we take each other for granted. But once in a while, like today, I meditate on it and I realize how lucky I am to share my life with the greatest woman I ever met. You still fascinate and inspire me. You influence me for the better. You're the object of my desire. The number one earthly reason for my existence. I love you very much. Happy birthday, princess. Ah! Is okay, that not he's just like a romantic bell. You posted something on your Instagram. It was a quote from him. Yes. And he said, with her having coffee, when asked, what is your yes. version of paradise? With her having coffee. Oh. He is a romantic. You're right. I love Johnny Cash. <laughs> and listen, on all the letters, he's right now. He beat classic. out. He beat out Winston Churchill, John Keats, well, Ernest mean, Hemingway, Napoleon. All the top well, five. No, nothing sexy about Napoleon. <laughs> I do like a short man, though. Mm. <laughs> Maybe his writings were beautiful, though. You That's never true. know. Well, I found an article. Some guy. Um, they've been married for 40 years. He's written his wife 10,000 love letters. That's a lot. By hand? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't totally read the article. It was more like a scam. <laughs> oh, I'm sure, I'm sure it was letters. You know, yeah. so yeah. letters now it's carpal tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> He's going My to... college boyfriends and I used to write each other love letters every day. We had love letter boxes for our love letters. That was college. <laughs> yeah. That's over. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Sweet. Here's, here's my, uh, and I have girlfriends who love, like, if their man writes them a poem. Oh, or, I don't like poem crap. Or, like, you know, just some Roses really. Roses are red, yeah. violets are blue. If he's busy <laughs> on Valentine's Day, the side girl is you. <laughs> You know why, and don't listen to none of these. Excuses. Maybe he's at Lowe's buying a plumbing fixture for the no, house. No, no, <laughs> no, yeah. no. He might be. Mm -mm. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> more table talk. We have more to say. It's shocking, right? <laughs> <laughs> we digress. <laughs>